Hello everyone, we are back. If I post this video, it's because something interesting happens. Uh, but, ew, I'm not sure why it's going. I don't, I'm not gonna follow that route. I don't think it should go that way. It should take a left here. See if it reroutes. It, yeah, like I'm saying, if it, if it, if I post this video, it's because something interesting happened. There's been reports uh, of automatic emergency braking, um, just slamming on the brakes on the highway. As always, you've got to be always vigilant. Always have, you know, your foot over the pedals. The thing is about highway driving is. It's been so good for so long that if something like that happens, it's not something I would expect at all. I want to disengage. There's a guy walking across the road to my left and this traffic zone. If it was going to go, it just needed to go. See, this guy's walking behind me now because my car's in the middle of the, the crosswalk. So once this, most more cars. It's gonna go and needs to just go. It should not go at this point. I can't. Actually, no, it can go. This car is blocking my view, so I, no, no, it should not go. Okay, it can go. I'm having to press the accelerator here. That was good. That was good with that car crossing in front. Maybe I'll post this video just to show these little issues here. It's something we always gotta look for. In 500 feet, turn right to take the interstate 26 west, US 74 westbound toward Asheville. Just gonna go ahead and get in this lane. Turn right to take the interstate I'm not sure what that sound was. It should stop here because it's. I mean, obviously it's yielding. Okay, it's good to go. Okay, so. That actually. Okay, that did fine, though I had to turn on the blinker to give it more confidence. So this was not any better than last time, though I didn't record last time, but um, it has less construction cones, so that's why it was better. Again, I need to make sure my foot's over the accelerator for this version, see what it does. It could be have to do a camera calibration and the likes, but of course, the reports were happening at 75 mile an hour, 75, 80 mile an hour, and so that's a lot more aggressive when you're braking at that speed. crazy happened on the highway here. We're gonna see, I'm actually gonna go ahead and decide to upload this video regardless. Uh, this right here will be a good single stack test as well as this multi-lane um, multi lane change right here. It needs to get over two lanes after it merges in after this yield. And it has always messed up. It's never been able to do it. We'll see if it can do it here. I mean, it has the best odds possible. There's not a single car coming. I'm gonna turn on the blinker. Turn on the blinker again. Come on. Now turn left onto Skate Parkway. Okay, and there's a car coming out quickly behind me. I think they even gave me a hand gesture that I cut out in front of them. Uh, it wasn't even trying to get over. Not even trying. Oh, on multiple Teslas. Yeah, we have a new uh, new supercharger here. Uh, where is it? Oh, there it is. Yeah, we have a new supercharger. So it's good uh, Good to have that. 
I think what I'm actually gonna do is, um, come on, I'm having to press it to give it some more confidence here. I'm gonna go ahead and reroute it to Witch Witch. One, so I can see the supercharger, and two, so I can, um, give it a little bit more challenge for this particular drive. We'll, we'll change it up just a little bit to give it a little bit more challenge. It needs to get over in this lane here. It would have gone there if I had it routed that way in the first place. It's not going to go through the roundabout by the looks, but it's going to take an unprotected left here. It can go left. Yeah, that's good. Well, yeah, I mean, it's good. It should have been a little bit more confidence, but that's good. Be better than previous versions. Um, I actually don't know where I'm going right offhand. Uh, that wasn't necessarily a bad thing that it went over the yellow line there. It kind of smoothed out the turn, made it less jerky. But yeah, this is a good off-the-highway supercharger stop. If, if anyone has any uh, uh, questions about this area, uh, I can probably answer them. This is a great location for one. Tons, tons to eat. Tons of places to go walk around and go to REI for 30 minutes while it charges. Good, good place overall to go ahead and stop. Uh, over. Now your destination is on the Oops. Yeah, here's the supercharger. <laughs> um, this is actually where I want it to go, so we're not going to count that disengagement. Though hopefully it's not going to beam across me. So we're actually not stopping here. We're actually, uh, go and turn around here and this is going to be the start of our next drive nice little location a couple good pulling spots for trailers the right next to the ev go station for other evs right here it's overall good spot uh if you have any questions for me on this as always put them down below and i'm glad to see you in the next next video thanks guys